Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Western Digital, my passport SSD. The capacity is 2 terabyte. I got it for a couple of weeks and really like it. So I thought let's make a video to show how it is. And in real time, we're going to use it and see some sort of performance. So first of all, this one does have the capacity, which is 2 terabyte. Also available in 1 terabyte, you can get it. And the compact size is really remarkable. And it does have the hardware facilities to set the password, which is 256-bit AES hardware encryption. It's not a software, it's a hardware facilities that you can lock up your data. And if you lost or if it goes to the wrong hand, your data would be protected and nobody can get access into it. By the way, this one comes with C2C data cable. It means you can connect directly to your smartphone or any video recorder plus laptop and Mac. By the way, they do advertisement just for the Windows laptop or PCs I found, but you can use it for Mac as well if you format the drive and get it ready. You can format it. The dimension for this SSD is 2.17 inch and the length is 3.94 inch, which is comparatively compact in XFAT or NTFS both file system. As you can see, the dimension is quite smart and very thin and lightweight to use it. And I do love this chrome finishing, that much bigger than any business card and stuff like that. As you can see, there is a wipe design and it says Western Digital, only one connector which is Type-C. And also at the back is kind of quite grippy and it says about the capacity on the model number. So now I'm going to use it in desktop. As you can see, this is the actual hard drive, 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. And now I'm going to take everything back to this one. By the way, my customer is going to use it for Mac. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reformat it and I'm going to make it available for Mac and Windows PC. To do that, it's really simple. You don't need to buy, which is specifically they market it for the Mac users. What they do, they just format it in XFAT and advertise for Mac only. So you don't need to pay anything extra. You can get into uh, Windows laptop or PC and you can sort it out without any software assistance. So once it's connected by any USB cable, as you can see, I got board type, type C to USB or C to C. And once I connect it, but it's not recognizable for this Windows laptop. You might have the other case, but if you follow the same procedure, you can use your external SSD from Western Digital, my passport SSD in any platform, either Windows or Mac, does not matter. So we can see our SSD even is connected. So what are you going to do? We're going to go to search box and we're going to do partition. Once you write the partition, you're going to get into the partition system from the Windows default application. And from here, I can see it says unallocated space. Yes, the second one, the second one, the bottom one that we can see, this is the SSD, by the way. If you do have any data, please back it up first before you delete anything, okay? Very careful because you're going to lose it and you can undone it. So you can back it up somewhere, come and reformat it and get it ready for the next move. So when you click on delete partition, it's going to take less than a minute and now it shows an allocated space. Create new partition, hit next. And it shows what kind of file system was there. And if you hit the next button, then you're going to customize it. You're going to get the option to customize it. So now let's cancel it. Next. Now we can see it shows NTFS. What are you going to do? We're going to change into XFAT. Once we change into XFAT, this, my passport SSD, would work in both platforms. Hit next, finish it. Straight away, it's going to pop into 
the screen. It shows the letter D is my passport SSD, and this is ready. This is ready to use for Mac or Windows. Let's connect my old 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. I use the enclosure, as you can see here. Connect it. While you do that, I always suggest to have the laptop adapter, I mean the charger connected, because we don't want to see any interruption. So I can see here my old hard drive. I'm going to open a window. Here is all the file. I'm going to open another new window. And this time I'm going to open up this SSD in one side, which is on my left, and on my right, my old traditional 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Ctrl A. I'm going to copy it drag and drop finish now it depends on how much data you have that's how simple it is you can do that so for two terabyte my passport has the cost still in 2024 end of the 2024 still 135 pound in the uk and it just comes with five years limited warranty and this is also shock proof if it drops around six feet high then still it should be protected I hope so and it does have the hardware facilities to enable the password means 256 bit AES hardware encryption technology which makes it great and secure so if you do have one let us know how did you like it leave it in the comment section so somebody else can get some information before they intend to buy it thanks for watching guys bye for now